Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. So as you can see, I got the race truck out. I got the trailer all set up. I figured I'll show you guys what loading this thing is going to be like. Um, I don't know if you guys would have fully understood what I meant about squeezing the tires through and all that. Um, I really was going to go hunting tonight, but by the time I got home from work, it's too late to do that. But we still have a little bit of sunlight left. So I figured we'll try and do this, just make sure everything's on point. So that way, um, if we go to run the truck at the track and we go to load it up and shit, something's wrong or whatever, we can, you know, address that issue. Um, the other thing, the end of the last video, it was rather dark. So I know you guys probably couldn't see too well. So here we have the, the ramps out. As I said in the previous video, they can be put anywhere along the back here. Um, it's 102 inches wide with the two inch uh, dovetail or beaver tail or whatever. And then the bottom of our steel down here is about 83 inches across. And as you can see here, it overlaps a bit. The, this quarter inch plate, um, well, it might be even be a little thicker than that. So that, that's going to limit how far we have between there um, up top here. So when I was talking about that, I know when I've put this truck on a car trailer previously, down here where the tire bulges a little bit is kind of squeezing by and the, and the wheel barely makes it. So with this trailer, we should be okay. But we're going to find that out. The other thing is the aluminum wheels were an upgrade. Uh, definitely look a lot better than just having steelies on there. But I just figured you guys would be able to see the trailer a lot better than last night um, as I did have to bring the exposure up in uh, editing so that way it could even be seen. But yeah, that's it. It's dirty now. It was clean other than being wet when you saw it last night. But uh, yeah, I might need to invest in mud flaps for Caitlin as we're already kicking a bunch of shit up and that's just coming in the driveway. So that's the trailer. Um, I'll probably let the race truck warm up for a minute or two more and I'm I'm gonna get a sweatshirt because it's actually chilly tonight would have been a good night to hunt maybe I should have gone out there oh well As you can see it's not really rubbing it is a little bit here but it is pretty tight if we hop to the other side shit we actually got a good bit of space so uh that's perfect i uh i'm very happy about that plenty of room with the factory wheels and tires on the front so now we need to get the drag radials on and give it a whirl another thing I did block up the back. We're gonna need to get some jacks or something for that. Um, I blocked it up so it wasn't, you know, pulling the end of the trailer down and the back of the other truck up. So we're definitely gonna need to get some jacks to put on here when we're loading the truck. But uh, yeah, plenty of room. Man, I, uh, I miscalculated that by a good bit. That's for sure. From ordinary, extraordinary. Uh, it just has black wheels and tires with a big offset. Um, it definitely does change the look of the truck completely getting rid of those steel wheels. So as you can see, these tires poke out a lot more. And honestly, if we got a different wheel 
on the truck that would take care of the entire problem seeing just how much room we have um, now I did measure it before like I said I think it was like 92 inches but let's pull the truck up and see what it looks like but as you can see night has fallen um, yeah I got them bolted on there and all that let down the jack and the front ones were just way low on air so I pumped them up to what they should be when we take it to the track uh, I don't know if that's the right way to go about it or if I should put a little more in there for hauling the truck and whatnot um, I don't know if any of you actually know uh, put a comment down below so uh, let, yeah let's see what this thing looks like uh, up on the trailer As you guys can see we're just barely on that ramp there and just barely on that ramp there honestly if we had a little different offset like I said no problem but uh I'll back the truck up we'll come on over to this side and see what she looks like So there we are with it up on one side and down on the other. It's not too bad. These these long ramps on this iron board definitely these long ramps on this iron board definitely a uh, plus makes that nice and easy. Uh, four wheel drive just so that way that, you know no issues. So there it is uh definitely hauling the truck obviously i'm gonna want it back a little further get more of that weight over the axles but uh yeah not too shabby i'm uh i'm digging it definitely digging these drive over fenders Alright guys, so I got the truck back in the garage. It is thoroughly warmed up, so we're going to go ahead and do an oil change. Um, I know the lighting there at the end didn't turn out too good. Uh, just showing you getting up on the ramps. And I'll be honest, I thought it was going to look a lot more dramatic than that. You know, coming up over that, uh, that drive over wheel well or fender. I thought it was going to you know, look all kind of out of kilter and all that. And honestly it didn't look or feel that bad at all so uh definitely definitely happy with the trailer select trailer selection there so we're doing the oil change i'm also going to do a couple other things to knock off our list because i think the next video or what i would like is for the next video to be us running the truck at the track um it's currently tuesday night wednesday night there is test in tune so i'm hoping to get the truck there so we got our drag radials on that's one thing we got to mount our v2 which is going to just be a couple zip ties in there so it's not flopping around when we make a pass uh oil change and then we have one other thing we're going to do and that's going to be to cover this up right here so that way when we go to check the truck in if they just look in the bed you know you see a gutted bed like this and you don't see a roll bar you're probably gonna start asking a lot of questions so we're going to cover this up and uh yeah move forward and try and knock everything out and see where we get we got the oil draining 
Um, if anybody who had seen the video back when we put the engine diaper on, uh, it was actually easy. This is the only time we've changed the oil since then because really the truck hadn't been ran much. But if you look down here, that snap and the other rear one on the other side, I just undid them, was able to push it forward so I can get to the drain plug. So uh, that's all fine and dandy. Let's take a look at this cover we got going on. All right, so here's the tonneau cover. This is the absolute cheapest tonneau cover I could buy. I couldn't find any eight foot bed ones used. Um, and I know what you're thinking, Tom, you're cutting this truck up. Why even bother? Because I want to cover it up. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Um, first off, for the whole sleeper stuff, especially to show up at like a dyno thing or something. I know the hole in the hood, that gives it away, but it's just something I want to do. All right. I know it might be silly. It might not make sense, but same thing with the rear exhaust. I just felt like it. So, yeah, let's get to putting this bad boy in. got the tonneau cover on I was having some issues getting it um, attached I was really struggling well I did not realize that you know once you it's pretty secure now but once you get this plastic piece in the groove here you need to there you go you need to really press down on it to get it to interlock in the bottom part um, before I was just kind of putting it in there and I wasn't pressing hard enough I've actually, I've never had a tonneau cover like this. The first tonneau cover I've had is the one on Caitlin, which is a hard folding tonneau. Um, so anyway, that took me a little while, just kind of getting frustrated and all that, but I definitely like the looks of it. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for the uh, lack of a roll pan or lack of a bumper, I should say, the thing would look pretty legit from the outside. I. Uh, yeah, definitely dig it. I don't think it's going to blow up. Because if I can get this open. It seems pretty secure. Um, whether it's secure at 120 some mile an hour, well, we're going to find out. So, got that done. The oil is drained. So, we'll change the filter, fill this pig up with some oil, and. Uh, move on to our other little dumb shit we got to do tonight. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about it, feeling good. So our list of to-dos for tonight are done. Um, got our tonneau cover on. I know it might seem odd that I bought a new tonneau cover just to put on this thing. But like I said, I couldn't find any used and this is the cheapest one I found. I think it'll be all right. Hopefully it doesn't fly off while we're going down the track, but we're going to find out together. Um, one of the other things I wanted to get done, let me grab my light. I wanted to mount our V2 so it wasn't flopping around in here and we could data log as we made passes. So I have it kind of ghetto zip tied there. It's very firmly in place. It's not going anywhere. All we got to do is plug the cable in. We'll be ready to rip. Um, I certainly need to vacuum in here. Oh shit, you know what? There's one more thing we got to do. And that's tape that hole up there so we're not getting a bunch of smoke in a cab. Uh, that should be a pretty simple fix. So we'll do that, then we'll be done. All right, so I patched that hole. I know that is not the right way to do it, but we were having some smoke come in here and as you could see from that big gaping hole it had to be coming from there more well yeah most likely um so i just taped that up for now everything's good there uh we are done so another thing and i was actually going to go through with it tonight for whatever reason i get comments every once in a while everybody wants to know why i still have the antenna on the truck um well because i just never got around to taking it off yet and I think I'm going to leave it. I was going to take it off earlier, but the more I thought about it, it's just kind of funny. It's got an antenna on it. It doesn't make any sense, just like the tow mirrors. But eh, why the hell not? 
but uh, eventually these will be gone too. We just have not gotten that far yet. Everything we've been doing is to try and get the truck back to the point where we're at. So to recap, once again, get the V2 mounted, oil changed, checked out the trailer stuff, got our tonneau cover on, which I'm now going to say is for aerodynamic purposes. I think that's a much better reasoning uh, than what I was saying earlier, even though what the hell does it matter? So guys, I know tonight has been all over the place, um, but that's just kind of where my head's been. Like I said, fooling around with the trailer. I want to make sure everything was right, that I was comfortable getting it on the trailer um, with those loading with, I can't even think of the name right now, with the drive over fenders. Uh, and it was definitely more comfortable than I was anticipating. So I just want to make sure everything was right before I was getting all excited and you know, trying to get this other stuff done. Um, none of it really had to be done, but it was stuff that needed done. The only one issue we have remaining is our trans cooler wiring. We got something going on there. Um, I think I actually have a double fuse on that for some reason, like goes into our fuse block and then into a fuse behind it. But it seemed like if I jiggled it, it would be okay. So w when we go to the track tomorrow, weather permitting, of course, we're not gonna be making a pass after pass. Make a pass, take a break, check out the truck, make sure everything's good, try and check our data logs, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not worried about it. We can get back there, let everything cool down, and just take it one step at a time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're excited to see the truck at the track. Um, let me know. What do you guys think the truck will run? We ran 10.6 at a 127. I don't think I've ever ran it on Tune 5. It's the same tune-up, same basic setup. You know, um, the only thing we changed was lightening the truck up. And we took a good bit of weight out of it. Fuel cell, you know, the whole nine. So what do you guys think the truck will run at the track? I don't know that I'm going to run it all the way up on Tune 5, but uh, I'm definitely going to try and beat that 10.6. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, get out in your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck. I'm fucking, I'm fucking ready, buddy. All right, guys. Good night.